absolute mayhem. Falcher and welcome on in, you beautiful feckers. This game is damn addictive. Addictive and bloody cold hearted at the same time. If you enjoy endless survivals, then you're gonna absolutely love this. Imagine Warframe's endless survivals having certain modifiers. Now, when the difficulty ramps up, it is really, really enjoyable, but with the difficulty ramping up, so does the enemy count, and so does the chance of you getting absolutely whooped. Embrace the grave because you are gonna die eventually. It even has a difficulty called Ha 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 bloody laughing at you as you die. This of course is Risk of Rain 2, which is a third person shooter unlike Risk of Rain 1, which was 2D, so it's kind of a remake only in 3D. The art style reminds me a little bit of Borderlands as well, since it was shown off at the Borderlands 3 reveal, or something along that style, maybe even Dauntless to some degree. It is absolutely amazing, this game. It's a roguelike, endless survival game where you have to rush about killing enemies who drop gold that you need in order to open up chests on each level that you do, which can give you power pickups you get to keep, or mutators that increase your damage, your movement speed, your health regen, basically survivability, and so on. So the object of each zone is to find as many pickups as you possibly can, gold and mutators, then find a teleporter to make your way to the next zone. When you activate this teleporter, it spawns a boss which you and your team or you solo then need to kill or try to kill while still fighting all of the other enemies that are around you at the same time, but more importantly, staying alive while trying to do it. To begin with, when you jump into the first zone, it is pretty easy, but damn does it get nuts fast. The iconic commando is your first character you get to start off with in the game with its dual pistols, its roll out of danger, the rapid fire on your enemies that can stun them, but like all of the other characters you can unlock, your abilities will be on a short cooldown. So you gotta manage your abilities well in case you get overrun. Other characters right now that you can play as in the game once you unlock them is the Huntress with the bow and glaive, which is my personal favorite. There is the engineer who can drop turrets and mines, as well as having a protective dome to place over you. And these turrets, of course, gain the benefits of all of his mutators as well. There is a claptrap type of unit called Multi, a little robot with wheels, which which is insanely powerful, who has two different fire modes, a kind of fully auto fire mode, and he has a charged up kind of snipe off fire mode as well, which is insanely powerful, and apparently might be getting some changes very soon. There is the mercenary, who is a melee focused character. There is the artificer, who is a mage type of character, which I still need to unlock the mercenary and the artificer to try those out. Now, I'm sure more playable characters are in development. There is question marks in the UI when you're looking at the characters, Possibly some of the other characters from Risk of Rain 1, like the Chef, or Acrid, or the Bandit, or even some new ones for us to eventually try out. Now, if you do decide to pick this game up, you can expect insane amounts of enemies, huge bosses, beetles, demons, rock thingies, cow thingies, fire thingies, too many to feckin' remember. The longer you survive, the harder it gets with a boss to fight in each zone. Plenty of drops. If you die, you're out. Like I said, one difficulty even laughs at you. Now, if you die in a squad, you need to hope or pray that your team get to the next zone after they kill that boss in order for you to respawn. However, if you do respawn, chances are you're gonna be a little bit behind all of the others with gold or with pickups because they've been playing while you were lying dead on the ground. Now, enemies do scale depending on how many players are in your squad. So if you die, it will become harder for your squad. It's gonna take them a little bit longer to kill the boss, whether you're playing with randoms or friends, the real kind, not the imaginary ones. Sorry, dudes, sorry. Risk of Rain 2 is hectic and well worth looking at. I would definitely recommend this game. It is fun, as you can hopefully see from this footage. Now, don't let the art style put you off in case you're looking at it going, nah, this game looks too cute for me. It is incredibly addictive and it does get really hard really fast. Now, let me know what you think of it, if you already have the game, how many hours you've put into it, or if you're enjoying it or not. Risk of Rain 1, I believe, is available on console as well as PC, which means this will hopefully make the same transition. Right now, it's only available on PC, but let me know in the comment section below what you think of the game. Do me a huge favor, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, or don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more content like this, and as always, thanks very much for watching.